What makes Ferrari's Project 676 stand out in the 2024 Formula One car design? Let's take a closer look. At the heart of Project 676 is the innovative redesign of the transmission and gearbox. The brains at Marinello have not only managed to enhance reliability, but also cleverly shrink the gearbox's dimensions. This isn't just a change for change's sake, it's a strategic move with a hidden perk. With a reduced volume gearbox, the car gets an aerodynamic boost. So the question arises, how does this change benefit the aerodynamics of the car? The answer lies in the concept of pressure recovery. You see, by reducing the transmission and gearbox size, Ferrari's Project 676 has paved the way for a larger diffuser volume. And that's where pressure recovery comes into play. Here's how it works. In the car's back section, the kinetic energy of the fluid morphs into pressure energy. The fluid flows rearwards, encountering a negative gradient due to low pressure beneath the car and high pressure behind it. This results in turbulence, slowing down the fluid from the front. So, the aim here is to gradually decrease the flow velocity. Simply put, if the fluid expansion rate is higher, the low pressure generated in the flat bottom area upstream is also greater. And that's why even a few extra cubic centimeters in the diffuser can make a significant difference. These small changes can have a big impact on the car's aerodynamics, leading to increased performance on the track. But the changes don't stop at the diffuser. There's a lot more brewing in the heart of Marinello. For starters, we're likely to see an increase in the section of the channels inside the car's floor. This modification, coupled with the use of larger Venturi channels, is designed to better contain the lateral entry of so-called contaminated fluids. Now don't expect a radical shift in the keel design, it's likely to stay fairly similar to last season's, but that's not to say there won't be any changes. The 2024 Ferrari is set to sport substantial updates to the channel inlets and side pods. These modifications aren't just for show, they're part of a bigger strategy. By altering the shape of the extractor, the pressure characteristics upstream of it, that's the area preceding the diffuser itself, can be changed. This could lead to a different pressure distribution along the width of the car's floor. These changes are set to alter the pressure distribution along the width of the car's floor. So, what does this mean for the car's performance? Well, the anticipated change in pressure distribution could lead to a shift in the relative peak positioning of the force exerted. This in turn could potentially ramp up local downforce. The real game changer here is the aim to enhance the overall balance of the car. This would be achieved by shifting the positioning of the pressure center. Therefore, Project 676 will be marked by significant changes as compared to last year's SF23 single-seater, with a profound impact on the 2024 Formula One car design, as Ferrari hopes to be able to at least partially reduce the gap to Red Bull in 2024.